Welcome to our countdown of the most terrifying prehistoric creatures that will haunt your dreams. Imagine a world ruled by colossal reptiles, gigantic insects, and bizarre creatures unlike anything alive today. From colossal snakes to feathered dinosaurs, these ancient beasts are the stuff of nightmares, lurking in the shadows of Earth's distant past. Prepare to journey back in time millions of years to a world where survival was a constant struggle and danger lurked around every corner. Picture, if you will, a snake of such colossal proportions that it could wrap itself around a car and crush it with ease. That, my friends, is the Titano Boa. This monstrous serpent, potentially reaching lengths of up to 47 feet, reigned supreme in the humid jungles of South America after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Weighing in at over 2,500 pounds, the Titanoboa was more akin to a river monster than a terrestrial serpent. It preferred to glide through the murky depths of swamps and rivers where it could launch surprise attacks on unsuspecting prey. Its sheer size and power made it the undisputed apex predator of its time, capable of swallowing large animals whole. Just the thought of encountering such a creature is enough to send shivers down your spine. Long before the dinosaurs walked the earth, a most peculiar creature, now affectionately dubbed the chubby lizard, roamed the planet. This portly, semi-aquatic amphibian resembled a lizard that had perhaps indulged a little too freely in its meals. Measuring approximately 12 feet in length, this oddity existed 265 million years ago on the supercontinent of Pangaea. Its skeletal structure suggests that it was primarily a water dweller, much like a hippopotamus, but with a curiously small head. The chubby lizard serves as a testament to the fact that nature's early experiments with body types weren't always the most aesthetically pleasing. It is a reminder that evolution is a messy and unpredictable process, often resulting in creatures that are both fascinating and bizarre. Let me introduce you to the Eutyrannus, a creature that predates the Tyrannosaurus rex and dare I say is even more peculiar. Imagine a predator, 21 feet long, every bit as fierce as its famous cousin, but covered in a coat of six inch feathers. This, my friends, was the Eutyrannus, a walking contradiction. A creature with the power to crush bones, yet adorned with the plumage of a giant, irate emu. These feathers, however, were not for flight. They served as insulation against the elements and perhaps as a display for attracting mates. The Eutyrannus is a prime example of nature's ability to blend the terrifying with the absurd, long before fashion became a conscious pursuit. Chapter 4. The Giant Centipede, a Nightmare on Many Legs during the Carboniferous period, a creature of pure nightmare fuel scuttled across the forest floor, the Arthropleura armata, or giant centipede. This monstrous invertebrate, reaching lengths of 10 feet and weighing an estimated 110 pounds, was the undisputed king of creepy crawlies. Just picture it, a nightmarish assembly line of legs and armored plates moving with surprising speed. Fortunately for our ancestors, and indeed for us, this behemoth preferred a vegetarian diet, but its sheer size and formidable appearance are a stark reminder that even the smallest creatures can evolve into giants. Chapter 5. Megalodon, the true terror of the deep. Now let's dive into the depths of the ocean where we encounter the ultimate apex predator, the Megalodon. This colossal shark, dwarfing even the largest great white sharks alive today, could reach lengths of up to 66 feet and weigh as much as 10 African elephants. Recent studies suggest that it was also incredibly fast, cruising through the oceans at speeds of up to 3.1 miles per hour, a terrifying thought considering its size. The megalodon's massive jaws could open six feet wide, revealing rows of teeth, each one the size of a human hand. This wasn't just a shark, it was a force of nature capable of swallowing whales whole. If you're brave enough to venture into the ocean, remember the Megalodon, the true nightmare of the deep. Chapter 6. Pteranodon, the Dragon of the Skies Our journey through prehistory takes us next to the skies, where we encounter the Pteranodon, 
a flying reptile that dominated the late Cretaceous period. With a wingspan of up to 20 feet and a skull that wouldn't look out of place on a dragon, the Pteranodon was a truly awe-inspiring sight. This prehistoric predator wasn't just intimidating because of its size. It possessed a rock-hard beak, perfect for snatching fish from the water and perhaps even snatching small dinosaurs from the ground. Imagine looking up and seeing this magnificent creature blotting out the sun as it soared effortlessly overhead. It's a humbling reminder of the incredible diversity of life that once graced our planet. Chapter 7, The Burrowing Dinosaur, A Prehistoric Pompeii In a discovery worthy of a horror film, paleontologists unearthed a new species of dinosaur that met its end in a truly terrifying fashion, buried alive during a volcanic eruption 125 million years ago. This unfortunate creature, named Changmiania leoningensis, or eternal sleep, was found in a burrow, likely seeking refuge from the very disaster that would claim its life. With a snout perfectly adapted for digging, this herbivorous dinosaur sought safety underground, only to be entombed in ash and debris. The discovery of the eternal sleep dinosaur provides a poignant glimpse into the harsh realities of life in prehistoric times where even the most desperate attempts at survival could be thwarted by the unforgiving power of nature. Chapter 8. The Almost Spider Mistaken Identity in the Fossil Record In 1980, the discovery of a giant fossil in Argentina sent shockwaves through the scientific community. This massive creature, dubbed Megarachne, possessed a leg span of nearly two feet, leading many to believe that it was the largest prehistoric spider ever discovered. However, further examination revealed a surprising truth. Megarachne was not a spider at all, but a sea scorpion, an aquatic arthropod that inhabited freshwater environments. While it may not have been the giant spider of our nightmares, the Megarachne was still a formidable predator in its own right. Its discovery highlights the constantly evolving nature of paleontology, where new findings can upend long-held beliefs and shed light on the incredible diversity of life that once existed on Earth. Chapter 9 The Prickly Dinosaur, Small but Mighty Our next encounter takes us to South America, where we meet Jacopil Kanyukura, a recently discovered dinosaur that proves that size isn't everything. This tiny tank of a dinosaur, about the size of a house cat, was covered in protective armor and sported spikes sharp enough to deter even the most determined predator. Despite its fierce appearance, Jacapil Kanyukura was a peaceful herbivore, using its leaf-shaped teeth to graze on vegetation. It's a delightful reminder that even in a world ruled by giants, there was always room for the small and spiky to thrive. Chapter 10. Carnotaurus, the Carnivorous Bull Our final prehistoric nightmare takes us back to South America, where we encounter the Carnotaurus, a horned terror with a name that translates to meat-eating bull. This fearsome predator possessed tiny, almost comical arms, but its long, powerful legs made it one of the fastest theropods around. Its most striking feature, however, was the pair of horns that protruded from its skull. These horns may have been used for fighting rivals or perhaps simply for display, adding to the Carnotaurus' already intimidating appearance. Utro until next time. As we've seen, the prehistoric world was a place of both wonder and terror, inhabited by creatures that strain the limits of our imagination. These prehistoric creatures are the stuff of nightmares, combining the terrifying with the bizarre, from giant centipedes to feathered dinosaurs, they remind us that Earth's ancient history was filled with creatures that make today's animals look tame. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating content.